What's up, guys? Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's your boy, the Bad Wolf. We got more information for you. All right, so now, as you know about this particular YouTube site, um, <clears throat> it's not always just about one thing or the other. This is about all the stuff that can help you to basically find freedom, get out of paying some taxes, get out of dealing with some, ju some jurisdictions, um, everything, all the rights that have basically been taken from us. So now this particular video is going to be about property taxes. So this is pretty much going to be part one of however many it takes to get the, the job done. So if somebody out there has successfully removed themselves from the property tax roll, you've unregistered your house from the city, um, whether you've done a land patent or whatever else, let me know. Um, and either you know I'll, I'll update the videos or we can work together. <clears throat> but I say this. You have to have proof that you did it for yourself, that you can do it consistently, and that it has worked for other people that you've done it for. So, because I'm not going to pay a fee unless um, you ha can provide that proof. So don't even bother with messaging if you can't do that. Um, I need something that works consistently, that is factual. Um, if you've done it and you want to keep your information anonymous and send it to me, that's fine. We can work out some kind of informational trade. Um, but uh, <clears throat> I know a number of you guys have been asking, how do I, how can we do this? I do have paperwork for it. I have submitted it, but of course, like most things, they just want to ignore it. So I'm pondering taking that on a legal aspect to the next level. But before we get there, I like to try to find things that can work. So in contacting them um, and basically kind of ignoring the laws and the information that back up, you know, my claims under the Constitution they want to provide me with a little letter over here on well this is how we do it okay well it's not how you do it okay so there's the way that it sh it's always should have been done and then there's their way so I'll check out their way okay that doesn't mean it's the only way it's kinda like when I contacted a DMV and the CEO was like well, you have to have a license if you're going to drive. Yes, but I'm not driving. I'm traveling under the Constitution as a U.S. national. So I know there's something along the same lines as this for um, getting your house unregistered. Because there's no, as far as I know, there's no constitutional law. There might be an in-state law or statute that says you have to register. Um, but I know some places do and don't. So you have to see what's good for you and your city um, or state because not this is not going to apply to everybody and everywhere uh, but in general getting off of it should be especially the US national way so we haven't cracked that code yet so if you have by all means contact your, your bad wolf um, moving forward so we're gonna look at things their way we'll, we'll, we'll try we'll see what they have to say and if it's some BS then we're gonna we're gonna stop when we get to that point but for now, we're going to move forward and we're going to check out their their avenues. So, <clears throat> in looking at their letter, they suggest you go to their website. So, this is for everybody. So, go to your city, um, your local city website, your city treasurer. Okay, that's what they told me. So, that's what we did. And in that, I came across the fact with some other information that you have to look up their pilot program, P-I-L-O-T. Um, it might be on here somewhere what that stands for. Uh, bear with me. Uh. Okay, so I typed in pilot program meaning tax exempt and it means payment in lieu of taxes usually abbreviated pilot p-i-l-o-t or sometimes p-i-l-t is a payment made to compensate a government for some or all the property tax venue lost due to tax exempt ownership or use of real property okay so real property Okay, because a lot of them will just say it's, you know, whatever else. So they're saying tax-exempt ownership or use of real property. So in other words, you're making a payment that you don't have to make 
because your property is tax exempt for some reasons. Okay, interesting. So, the pilot just really means that you you are you are telling them this is how much I'm going to pay you because you want to like a like a grant or charity or donation. Okay, so there are properties out there. You might have your property and it might be tax exempt already, or there might be a way of making it tax exempt. So let's take a look. Okay, so I'm on the city website, office of the city treasurer right now, and here is a list of, well, how much money they've made, how much they should have made, how many have qualified for it, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so starting here, it says exempt property type, all right? So I'm looking at this, as the number one says, or not really number one, but starting at the top of the list, traditional churches. Can you turn your house into a church, or is it already a private church? Next one says a storefront church. Housing for pastors, which I would have known that when my last uh, pastor was living here. Um, ordained ministers. Next one says religious schools. Parking convents or sister homes and then the last one there says miscellaneous how can you get a miscellaneous i wish they would have break i don't think they're going to show me any examples nope i'm not going to break that down smart people what qualifies as miscellaneous that 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 in itself there lies the mystery okay so moving on we've got educational institutions educational associations not-for-profit daycares Benevolent associations, miscellaneous educational institutions, public schools, school sites, including vocational and all MPS. Next up, colleges, universities, miscellaneous colleges, vocational schools, cemeteries, memorials, waste treatment facilities, women's clubs, historical societies, your house could be a historical society, of one or two or however many people in your house. Um, fraternal veterans organizations, libraries, community development groups, nursing homes, retirement homes, assisted living, group homes, children homes, YMCA, miscellaneous, again, low income or disabled housing. I'm low income right now, so, you know, I'm just saying I might qualify for that right now. Um, Not-for-profit hospitals. Huh, what, they have those? Um, housing for nursing students. That's interesting. Um, miscellaneous non-profit hospitals. Uh, Habitat for Humanity. Miscellaneous property held for rehabilitation. Institutions for Dependent Children, Boy, Boy and Girl Scouts of the Salvation Army, property held, in property held in trust in public interest. That's interesting. Putting your property in a trust. Nonprofit medical research, professional sports facilities, Uh, Humane Society, non-profit theaters. <laughs> Every Monday, come by my house for a movie. And it's a non-profit theater. Um, United States government, Indian reserves. Um, hmm. I do have that Apache and Cherokee in my family. Um, okay, General Highways, Universities, Department of Veteran Affairs, um, airports, highways, vacant land. Playground lots, railroad, gas, electric, telephone, pipeline, streets, alleys, and pedestrian ways. Okay, so there you have it, guys. Go to your city website, City of the Treasurer. Look underneath their exempt property listings, um, tax exemption, property roll, blah, blah, blah. And you will find a list of opportunities that can help you get your property exempt. Now, as I was reading, 
some are perpetual and some you have to renew every year it is what it is um, I know to save I don't even know what mine is I just have it automatic but anywhere between three to probably six or seven thousand dollars for my little parcel here um, a year would be nice for the pocketbook to be able to keep it so it's definitely worth it now this is obviously hot so this is happening right now and this is as far as I've gotten so when I do the rest of it I will update you guys on the success till then do your own research hell some of you guys will probably have this done before me but I'm already seeing some educational church angles um, that can be utilized for individuals so talk to you guys later that's the bad wolf's information for the day on property tax exemptions and how to do it part two three four five or twenty whatever it takes we will be bringing um, as soon as it happens I will also update if I go the legal route all right and try to force their hand so we will see till then stay sharp stay healthy stay warm as you see behind me in the cameras it is I mean like 22 inches of snow within the last whatever it is frigid as Whew, yeah all right so don't forget to check out those offers and discounts down below people there's some good stuff down there and uh, thanks for the donations I got a couple one dollar ones got a couple five dollar ones hey I appreciate you guys it it truly means a lot to send those just send it to any one of the payment sources you know whatever it is um, if you want to send an email and say hey I just sent a donation that's cool because then I'm not trying to hunt down like that I miss sending somebody some files or whatever else um, especially because like some of you guys have sent like fifty dollars or a hundred dollars or more and I'm like oh my god like I didn't send them some information and I'm like freaking out here so always send a confirmation email after you send a donation or a file um, that you're requesting always confirm and say hey I just sent this total for these files Otherwise, I'm just waiting for you guys to contact me, all right? And I hate to hold people's money and not know who to send the materials out because I'm a very savvy business person, so I have to get it out. So you're, you're driving my OCD crazy, all right? But anyway, thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support. Um, I know some of you guys have said, you know, the comments are still off in, in the thing. Um, I might turn those on soon. Those are just at liberty. Um, you know, the... Uh, I get a majority good, and then there's some bad, and then there's some just wackos in there. Sent, you know, as everything trolls, putting weird information, directing people to their their stuff, and that's just not worth it to me. Um, I do appreciate the direct emails, you know, of thanks, and I know you guys appreciate it because I can see by the views going up and the number of subscribers going up. So I will be providing a uh, YouTube is telling me I can do a subscription service for. Um, emojis and if uh, I want to have like a preferred li uh, list where people who can subscribe will get first um, email uh, replies I might do that as well if you buy a product I usually answer a good couple of, of questions but if they're really long I'm gonna tell you what I do as soon as I see a really long email oh. and then I go that one's gonna get answered last or whatever so short and sweet is is way better if you're truly lost like I said a lot of people a lot of you guys are not doing the homework go back and watch the videos um, there's tons of them you have to a majority of 90 percent of these videos you guys should be watching I'm not just making them to for the hell of it it's to get you guys educated your mind has to start understanding this information and spouting it off okay